Other news tonight, he was sentenced to life in prison. That was back in 1991. But tonight we've learned that the man accused in a string of violent Dallas driveway robberies was released after just 11 years behind bars. News 8's Rebecca Lopez tonight joins us live. Rebecca, certainly a lot of angry victims there tonight. I spoke with one of the possible victims tonight, and she is very upset that a convicted sex offender and violent robber was on the streets, and now there may be more victims. If I had any money, wasn't grabbing. Regina Casilla says there's one thing she will never forget about the man who robbed her: his eyes. And that—that's what I remember: is his big wide eyes. She says she saw them again in this News 8 video shot during the arrest of Charles Hunt in Oak Cliff Thursday night. And it's, it's him. I know it's, I like, I know it's him. Casillas was robbed at Knife Point two weeks ago. Police have not linked Hunt to her case, but called her today about his arrest. Court documents show Hunt and his girlfriend, Santana Andrews, confessed to two other driveway robberies, one in Oak Cliff last night, the other across town on Skillman on Tuesday. Court documents show in that case, Hunt had a knife. Andrews had a gun and robbed a woman and her five-year-old son. Andrews admits she grabbed the five-year-old after he started screaming and hit the complainant over her head with a pistol. Police say they not only confessed, but sources tell News 8 the suspects videotaped themselves and took pictures during the crimes. It's really stupid of them. What really disturbs Casillas is the fact that Hunt is a convicted sex offender and robber. He was sentenced to life in prison in 1991 for sex assault and four aggravated robberies. But after only spending 11 years in prison, he was released. Here's what the Board of Pardons and Paroles said about his release. In response to your inquiry, Charles Hunt was released on February 22, 2011, after having completed an 18-month treatment program. The board did not answer our questions about what type of treatment program would allow a violent, habitual offender back on the street. That's scary. He shouldn't even been out. But he was out. And now police are trying to determine if Hunt and Andrews robbed at least 24 people, including Casillas, since January. Robbery detectives are talking to all the victims again to try to determine if their cases are connected to this couple. Reporting live, Rebecca Lopez, Channel 8 News.